Hey guys, Brian at WorkshopAddict.com and DeWalt came out with a few new woodworking tools and one of them is the DeWalt 20 Volt Max XR Brushless Jigsaw. This is going to come bare tool as model number DCS334B. It's going to MSRP around $179 or in kit form with a 5.0 amp hour battery and that's going to be model number DCS334M1 that will MSRP around $329. With that said, if you want to wait a little bit till next year, they're going to come out with a barrel handle type jigsaw that's still going to be 20 volt max. So if that's in your wheelhouse, you might want to wait till early next year to look at that one. Now these are meant to be a little bit more compact, meant for woodworkers, finished carpenters, things like that. And I have a couple other jigsaws sitting here and you can kind of see the size. This is Bosch's 18 volt. And when you put it near here, they're almost identical you know the the few things that i look at different from this bosch to the dewalt are improvements and one of them being the variable speed that's up on top along with the variable speed trigger also the way that the blade changes in front is a lot easier than the bosch you also have a tool free bevel on the dewalt with detents at common type areas that you might stop to. So my guess is here that they took one of the better tools on the market and said, hey, what can we make better? What can we make easier for our woodworkers or our contractors? Put it in this tool and run with it. Now, there are other options in here, but the one thing that I'm gonna say that seems to be missing that is in one of the newer models that's out is a dust collection system. But this is more of a compact model, so it might not uh, you know, include that in the lower end models and they give it to you on the higher end models. Now with that said, this also has an integrated dust blower, but you cannot adjust it. It's just gonna be simply pushing the same amount of air and you cannot turn it off. Either way, it seemed to work great. We had used it on a variety of materials from plastics to wood and into metals. Now on the plastic, we use this Nomar skid plate that goes on the bottom and it just glides over everything and cuts excellent. You know, you really can adjust that oscillating in there and with plastic, you don't want a whole ton of it to get a good cut, but yeah, you don't want to cut too fast to heat it up. So the variable speed trigger combined with your speed selector up top really made that easy. Now cutting through some wood, you know, you can really make some nice fine cuts if you just turn that oscillating on to one notch and not get too crazy with any of the oscillating, but still keep your speed up a little bit. And we cut through some oak, it was awesome. Moving on just to do some testing, we're getting ready for a trip. So we're cutting little pieces that we need for our trailer and cutting through two by dimensional lumber, making different curves. This thing's cutting excellent and it's very fast. You can cut through just about any piece of dimensional lumber in seconds. I really like the power that you have here with 3,200 strokes per minute in a one inch stroke. I mean, you can really rip through some wood quick and the brushless motor just keeps chugging and it's fairly quiet. If you've listened to our reviews of some of the other jigsaws that DeWalt has out, they are loud, very, very loud. This one is not that way. And there's very little blade deflection or wander. And that's something that I think is a huge improvement and right along the lines of where Bosch has created theirs. I think that this tool is gonna impress a lot of people. Cutting in metal, obviously you're gonna turn off all the oscillation and this tool really shines as far as the amount of power that it has and we're able to dial in our exact speed that we want with the dial on the top and then using our variable speed trigger. Really cut excellent, and that was a little bit thicker metal than I would usually cut with a jigsaw. But since we're doing the review, I just pulled it out and used it. Normally a bandsaw would cut that with ease. So what did I take away from using this tool, especially comparing it to two others that I've had out recently, is that this tool is very comfortable. The vibration was fairly low. A lot of the settings that are here are easy to get to. The blade change, especially being up front in a large lever was simple. The blade does not spring out, so you still have to touch those hot blades, pull them out and put a new one in. Uh, the work light that's on here is very nice. It's in the right place. I still, you'll see my head, you know, trying to get the camera in the right position, but also get uh, my head there so I can see where the blade's at. 
This tool cuts excellent and it's got the power and the speed to get the job done right. And I think that that's gonna be very well touted and looked at in the woodworking world. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit more compact, especially you know when you look at maybe some of the newer, larger ones out there, if you wanna get into tighter spaces, this is gonna do it uh, right in the same manner as the Bosch would. And it's also going to give you some great runtime with the brushless motor. And if you're looking for dust collection, I guess this guy does not have it. And it might come out in a larger model, or you might have to go back a little bit in a few models to get it. But either way, this is a cool little jigsaw if you're looking for one. So two things. One, make sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, because we have a lot of giveaways going on, maybe one of these. and. Two, make sure your notifications are on so when our videos come out, you'll be notified of not only tool news, new tools coming out, but also our giveaways. We thank you for your time, guys. Have a great day.